Hey guys, I want to tell you about an excellent service opportunity that's taking place right here in Paducah, and it's called Walk for Water. What is Walk for Water? Walk for Water is a fundraiser that's been developed by Healing Hands International that helps to raise money to build freshwater drinking wells in third world countries such as Africa, Haiti, and India. The water that comes out of the ground in India specifically is toxic. It is contaminated with extremely high levels of fluoride, arsenic, and uranium. We know about uranium. That's what they put in bombs. Their water is pumped into a raw water holding tank. It goes through a carbon filter. It goes through a sand filter. It goes through a membrane filter. It goes through a reverse osmosis filter. It goes through a UV filter. Then, and only then, is it pumped into a stainless steel holding tank where it, then it is ready for consumption. Our toilet water is cleaner than the water that they get out of their wells. According to the research done by Healing Hands International, someone dies every 26 seconds from a disease that is brought on from drinking water that is unsafe. People in India have to walk an average of four miles every day to get the water they have to drink. Thus the name of the organization, Walk for Water. This is our fourth year to host a walk. Last year we raised over $30,000 Ours is the second largest walk of all the walks in the entire nation. And considering they've got walks in Atlanta, Nashville, Houston, that's pretty impressive. We partnered with Healing Hands International and a wonderful missionary named Mani Pagadipali to set up three reverse osmosis filtration systems in the villages that he works at in India about four years ago. Now each reverse osmosis filtration system costs a little less than $6,000 a year to operate. In addition to that, each one needs a new membrane filter twice a year to the tune of $4,000 each. Now, if you put all this together, you're looking at a grand total of over $40,000 to operate these three osmosis systems every year. We walk so they don't have to. Paducah, with your help, we can provide fresh drinking water for the people of India so that Mani can help provide them with Jesus, the living water. Our Walk for Water is April the 22nd, starts at 9 o'clock, and it's at the foot of Broadway, Wilson Stage Front. It'll start at the Wilson Stage Front, it'll go outside the flood wall, onto the Greenway Trail, down to the Burnett Boat Ramp, turn around and come all the way back for a grand total of a four mile walk. Last year, we raised $30,000. This year, our goal is $50,000. And Paducah, with your help, we can meet and exceed that goal. Here's how you can help. We want you to like this video and share it with your friends. We'd like for you to talk it up and raise awareness for this walk. We'd like for you to create a team and come walk with us the day of the event. We'd like for you to help raise money to help Mani and Healing Hands. And here's how you can do that. Get with businesses or individuals to have them donate or sponsor this event. Get a team together and donate money. 10 for 10. You get 10 people to donate $10. Or for a little extra challenge, 20 for 20. If we bring all of our money together, we can raise $50,000, no problem. Walk for water. We walk so they don't have to. We need your help.